Yo, what's up guys? So real quick, I've got a call in four minutes, but I seen this in the group and I just want to kind of give my two cents. Um, and, and just to add a, a caveat to this, just because this is my group and stuff doesn't mean what I say is the only way. And it, absolutely what Justin said is fuck, makes so much fucking sense. Um, and I think many ways, in many cases, there's a hundred ways to go about all these different aspects, right? It really comes down to how you say this stuff. Because if you read what Justin said, it's like, makes so much sense. Now, that could be said in a really good way, but it also could be said in a real salesy way, and you just put them off, right? My answer to this, when it comes to someone... Um, Yes or no. Firstly, that hardly happens generally for me. But when it has, I just go straight with no issues at all. Today will just be a no. And that's fine with us. And the reason I do that, by the way, guys, is because some people might have just had bad experiences on calls before. They're kind of defensive. And if you say something like that, they just want to kind of push back and go, well, that's not going to happen. You don't want to make a meal of it. You just want to, or a deal of it, even. You just want to go, okay, cool, no issues. Go about the call in a sense that that's fine. And you're going to, you, it, it, in many ways, you might push them away more. You want to demonstrate that you are absolutely not desperate. So you're going to look for the no. These people, if they are defensive, are doing this. And they would expect you, as a result of saying that, to be more, to be more salesy. They would expect you to push harder, to, to try and convince more for the yes. But once, and I've done this before, once you kind of prove throughout the call that you, you're in no way desperate. That's not about being salesy. And you look for the no, and they build that trust in you because you're absolutely not that guy. They completely change their way of thinking. So for me, those kind of challenges, especially what Justin said, would then be best to instead of use at the start when it could be potentially just showing that you, you're desperate for them to actually be able to say yes or whatever, you just bring them up at the end. So once you've got that whole buy-in, you then go back to the start. And you say, so, so now you know the value, you know how it's delivered, you also know the price. I'm still going to come back to say, are we looking at a yes or no? Because I know you said we're not looking at you. I know you said you're not going to make a decision today. But, like, are you 100% satisfied in where you are? You're not, obviously. We know that. So if this is how you've always made decisions and you're not happy with where you are, would it make sense to change the way you do things and how you make decisions? Right? So I'm just saying what Justin said, but how it would come at the end. And then one step further instead of the next position being to try and change his way of thinking to get paid in full i would offer that easier second step the, the stepping stone and i would say hey listen john i'm not when i say i'm looking for yes or no i'm not asking you the, the only options are not just to pay in full i think for me personally to show that you are committed and it sounds like something you want to do we could do the refundable deposit. We book a second call. You have that micro commitment. And on that second call, I'll go through with you X, Y, and Z. How does that sound? Right? And now we've got some kind of like middle agreement where he still thinks he's, he's kind of sticking to his guns, but also I'm able to kind of change that situation without being overly forceful. Right? So, yeah, that's how I think about this.